Hey, it's Jennifer McGuire here, and I have a very, very fast and hurried video for you. I got to pick up my son from school, but I wanted to whip this together. It features some new Hero Art stamps from 2011 and also a painting with liquid pearls technique. And that's what I did on this flower garden image up here on the top. I started this by stamping with Versamark ink, this new cling stamp from Hero Arts, and then I shook on some white embossing powder and heated it. You can see the stamp to the left. And now I'm pressing a couple of green distress inks onto my craft sheet that's bundled sage and peeled paint. This is liquid pearl, it's the white liquid pearl color, and I'm putting a squirt of it on each of the different colors on my craft sheet, and then I'm putting some water off to the side. Now using my Claudine Helmuth brush, because I really like those, I'm mixing up the color and just putting a little bit of water with it. And you can see I get this really thick and creamy, pearly paint. It's just beautiful in real life. And I'm painting it over the areas that are not embossed. It's okay if some of the color lands on the embossed areas, because we'll wipe it off later. But I'm just going to try to fill in as much of that area that's not embossed as I can with this color. So you can see my paint is very thick. You don't want to put the water right on the color or you end up with really watery paint, which is fine if you want a watercolor look, but I want to end up with a creamy paint look when I'm done. So if I find that it's going a little on a little thin, I'll just go back and add some more. Now I'm using worn lipstick and some spiced, uh, spiced marmalade uh, distress inks right onto the craft sheet. And I'm doing, again, squirts of the white liquid pearl right onto it and adding a little water off to the side, picking up with my brush. And I'm going to paint this onto the flowers. Now you'll see it goes on kind of light at first, but I can go back and do another layer when it's dry or put kind of globs of some color on there. When the globs or puddles of color like that one there, when it dries, it's really beautiful. It may look messy at first, but it dries very nicely. So you can see I'm going back and trying to add a little bit more color here and there just for some added dimension. Then I'll go and add some of the spiced marmalade so I end up with like a peach colored uh, look instead of just the pink. You can kind of see the pearly shine there. Now I'm going to do the birds and I'm using Stormy Sky and Brooklyn China. Now I, instead of using the white, I'm using the silver pearl just so it ends up with more of a metallic look. If I wanted it to be even more metallic looking, I would have used the platinum. But I just wanted to have this little bit of silvery shine. I'm just going to paint with it like I did before, cleaning my brush off, of course, in between. Just mixing up the ink and the liquid pearls and then grabbing a little bit of water to add in and then just painting it right over the areas that aren't embossed. And you can see this is really messy, but it'll dry lovely, I promise. Now I'm going back and adding some of the stormy sky. You can't really tell that this has a silvery look to it on the video, but in real life you can notice it. Now after this is completely dry, I just let it dry, air dry, going back with a baby wipe or you can use a wet cloth and taking away any of the ink that has dried on the embossed areas. You can go back and just do a quick rub down with the baby wipe and that works fine. Now any areas where the white embossing didn't really um, fully cover and there's some color where I don't want it, I'm going back with my Uniball Sigma, Signo pen. Um, it's the UM153 pen. I love this one and filling in anywhere where my white embossing didn't really work, and this is a favorite trick of mine. So there you can see the great pearly creamy color that you get to those flowers. And then I finished up with some basic gray papers and a greeting stamp. Again, I'm sorry it's so hurried, but I just wanted to show you this great liquid pearl technique and then also show you some of the new Hero Art stamps. Thanks for watching.